in New York City, they have a great, they have one great rule about Central Park. Seven to nine in the morning, off the leash for a dog. Oh, that's wow. So right. my dog runs every morning. That's We're out fun. there around quarter seven. We run for about half hour, 45. I don't run. Yeah. 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 It's <laughs> fun to watch but your dog run, But you're in great shape, run, though. though. You look yeah, like you're in great shape. Yeah, you are. Yeah. I'm all right. But I walk on the golf course. I don't use carts if I... That's good. good. Yeah, get the Unless steps I'm in, in a mountain. But that yeah. is fun watching your dog run in the dewy grass in the morning. Yeah. Just like and let loose. And they all kind of roll over. Oh, my God. It's so Dude. fun to watch. And I figured out how he not to have him attack other dogs. Since he's a retriever, he's a golden retriever, I yeah. put a ball in his mouth, and he won't let go of the ball, so That's, he can't bite anybody. Yeah. genius. <laughs> That's really smart. So he runs throughout the park with a ball but he's in not his gonna, mouth. But he's, he's not, not going to let go of no, that not thing gonna to let go of the ball. snap at he another may, dog. He may bark, you know, a, yeah, a, yeah. a muffled bark, but that's it. <laughs> So why didn't your shows last? Um, you know, the, 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 so many different reasons. Just like internal things, and then uh, also uh, you get you, like what did you, you said, work for? Like you said about uh, Comedy Central, who I now work right. for on the radio, and then um, MTV. So they didn't play it enough. It wasn't on. I wanted to do. I want to do a show. If I ever do a talk show again, it cannot be one time a week. I've. I've uh, oh, it's only because once a they, week. They, they, if they don't replay it, the audience doesn't you, get to you know can't, you. Yeah, you can't they trust you. You you can't gather an audience once a week that you don't have the time to and they unless, don't give unless you the time. you're some variety show and, yes. and i'm right. not you see it, it's very interesting for instance in daytime they've tried so many actors comedians uh people who were never ever broadcasters as talk show hosts it doesn't work yeah it just i'm very interested for instance next year uh kelly clarkson is going to do a talk show and so uh, it's going to be interesting as to whether that works. It's Ellen works. Ellen, Ellen works. worked. Ellen worked. Rosie O'Donnell worked for a while. For a while, I loved that. But I she. Mean, but then she but got. They come and go. She got dark. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. It went. It went. Yeah, it got a little weird at the end. So I guess. that yeah. was. That yeah, was... but in the heyday, that was a fun one. But it is these things come and. I mean, you must see them come and go all the time. Do you, can you tell when something's going to work? What what. What's the for instance, I mean, there there are a lot of uh, for instance, uh, I knew Jane Pauley wouldn't work. Whoa! I knew Meredith Vieira wouldn't work. What? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, you have to understand these were people who made their mark and made their reputations in uh, in in shows that were an ensemble. The Today Show is an ensemble. No, I'm telling. Hey, Matt Lauer, right? Biggest name in the world. Not there. Still, Today Show works. You know, bring mm -hmm. on the next person. Plug them in. It's an ensemble. Right. You go alone. It can exist without it, yeah. someone, and it, yes. Okay. You go alone, you're, you've got to be a different person than you were when you were that ensemble. And so it just doesn't work that way. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. They didn't develop that skill as a solo host, or the audience isn't going to want to see them in that role? I guess. I mean, you never... You, you never know how far you can get that way unless you do something solo. Yeah. Mm. You, you got to try. You got to do something solo before uh, before you know you're going to work. I mean, and, and it took me a long time. Uh, first of all, I mean, look, I'm a news guy. I never got along with my co-anchors ever. Really? I mean, look, years and years ago, I was the second banana to a woman named Connie Chung at the biggest <laughs> station in L.A. And guess what? They fired me. It didn't work. <laughs> you guys met at a station? Oh, yeah. Working together? Oh, sure. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. That was awesome. Was oh, that yeah. so fun oh, in the well, early was, days well, of, like, no she, one first knew? First of all, she, she uh, I, I started before her. I'm much older than she. Well, not much. I'm uh, significantly older. And so uh, I was a pretty big name in Washington, D.C., my hometown. She was hired as the assistant to the news director, the secretary, okay? The first job that opens up in a newsroom is a weekend writing job. She wants the job. The news director says, you can't have the job. Uh, you're my assistant. You're, you're my secretary. You can't, you can't. Uh, yes, I want the job. Well, you can't get the job unless you replace yourself. She walks out of the newsroom across the street into a bank, looks at the first woman teller and says, you want to be in TV? Come with me replaced herself, and became a big star. Oh, my Fast forward, And nobody really knew who she was. And then all of a sudden we're going, wow, that took a lot of guts. I mean, that's really aggressive. And so she becomes a star. She goes to L.A. She becomes the big, and, uh, big anchor. 
and then I'm hired as her second uh, banana, her co-anchor. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> and, I, and six months later, the new general manager fired me. And then so she took such pity on me, we started to date. Wait, you dated after? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. So she was, That's nothing awesome. happened before? No, I mean, no, was I just knew her. Was there any flirtation? Oh, well, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they, there had, had to have be. been a little something, something. Well, Connie, she had become a, a pretty big star uh, at CBS and the Washington Bureau during Watergate. I mean, she was a big star during Watergate. And so she went to L.A. and became a, you know, a huge hit. And she yeah. really did. And I w she was the only person I knew in that whole West Coast newsroom. And so when I got fired, <sighs> she took pity on me. Well, that how did that feel? Be, I mean, you getting lost, fired was the worst I, thing in my life. But then you started and the dating best, the person and the best thing in my life. And the life. best thing because yes, the greatest fear of anyone in this business is getting fired. That's the worst fear because a you don't know what it's going to feel like. And B, will you ever work again? Yeah. <laughs> and so when you end up having the feeling, at least you know what it's like. It's shit. It's shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's shit. That's so true. And you by the way, I, I believe that that's all part of my personality that I bring out. Hey, I've had my lows, you know. Yes. I've been fired. I've, I've laid down on a couch and wondered to myself, should I be in this business? I mean, what the hell? And oh, I just, yeah. Oh, that's great to hear that you've had that thought. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, and then what you do, what you do, you end up watching TV, <laughs> you know. And I'm watching all the newscasts. I'm saying, shit, I, I'm as good as that guy. Yeah. You know that? I mean, I can do that story. I mean, what the heck? And so I got a job in San Francisco about three or four months later, and then we started dating and had a commuting relationship between LA and San Francisco. Wow. Nice. But never we dated for 8 years before we got married. Well, that's Old smart. School, but not exclusively. <sighs> she says I dated people I couldn't even remember their first names. <laughs> and she dated nothing but stars in Hollywood. Oh, really? Uh. <laughs> I love this. That sounds fun. Yeah. So that's, I mean. So before you got married and settled down, you were together and you would see each other when you could, but you exactly. were just like, hey, no. we're in different cities. We're, Things are going to happen. Exactly. I love it. I love it. Yeah. There was no, in fact, uh, she, she said to me, she would say to me sometimes, well, maybe we should get married. And I said, no, I don't want to. And then I would say to her, well, maybe we should get married. And she said, no, I don't want to. And then finally she called me up and she said, we can get married now. I said, why? She says, because I found a dress. <laughs> so she yeah. called and it in the end. Six weeks later, we got married. Oh my gosh! Wow. And that was thirty-four years ago. That wow. And then where where did you move after that when you got married? Well, then I was back in Washington, and she was in New York, and we commuted for the first two years. And then this yeah. wild Australian named Rupert Murdoch called up and said, "We're going to start this show called A Current Affair." And, and uh, we're going to move you to New York, and you're going to find out whether you can live with your wife. Now you have to understand, <laughs> I, I, I was I was a I was a local anchorman, so she would we would I would come to New York every week or two uh, to see each other on the weekends. We're married, and I would go to the apartment building, and I would say, uh, Connie Chung, please, who is this? I said, uh, I, I, I'm her husband, and he would call up and say, uh, Ms. Chung. Mr. Chung is downstairs. <laughs> and that's when I knew yeah. that I had a long way to go. <laughs> yeah. That's so fun. Yeah. I love, she, I love your wife. She is, I, uh, yeah, she's, she is uh, indefatigable. She is. I got to look that word up later. Yeah. She's just, it's just. It's good. good. It's good, I think. Yeah. It's, it's, it's got to be just good. Like, no, it's just. It's, 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 <laughs> Nothing can penetrate her. She is going to. Except she is you. going to march to her own. <laughs> <throat. laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Once in a while. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. No problem, man. <laughs> that's why I'm here, just sniping. <laughs> Nikki does the. Th I just snipe in, Nothing come out. Some hit, yeah. some don't hit. It's what it is. Oh, yeah, I have Nikki's right. approval, and I got that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. But yet she said she's just went after what she wanted and, and exactly. told you when it was no we're getting she was married back now. to going across the street and taking a girl from the bank and saying do you want to be in TV because I, I want this it. job what happened to that girl at the bank she she ended up being a talk show producer for me at that station that's what no happens way yeah. Yeah. so she did she yeah, want to be in TV Good. see that see, see that. You know? 
Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's Perfect. all. It's all. I so go work at a bank. All you bank tellers <laughs> out yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, do they have bank tellers anymore? Oh no, I don't know. Yeah. I do everything on my app. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Just I mean, sitting in they have if it's not person. ATM, do, I mean, have you, does anybody ever go into the bank I don't anymore? Know. Very I don't rarely. I, read, I recently wrote a joke where I was like, and I went to the bank, and I'm like. No one's believing this right yeah. now. Like, no one's, yeah. When has anyone in here been to a bank? And I go, I didn't go to the bank. Let me put it somewhere else. A CVS. You're lost. Yeah, yeah. CVS. Yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, you do everything on the app, right? You make everything. withdrawals. You, what you, you put are, your check in. Your... Are you on Instagram? Are you on Twitter? Are you? Oh uh, yeah, all that stuff. Uh, How do you feel about it? What, do you like it? Well, the show is on it first yeah. of all. Yep. And the show is. I mean, oh, we've got like so three million memes. Facebook uh, amazing oh people God. and uh, another million YouTube people and. Uh, but I, I have a hard time. Uh, I see a lot of a lot of people who I know who are in the business. They're on Twitter, and I wake up in the morning. I, I usually wake up like six six thirty to walk the dog, and all of a sudden, all these people are on Twitter. I went, "What the hell yeah. are you doing this early in the morning?" Oh yeah, just responding to stuff. That's just you know, I, it's almost like being a shrink. I think Twitter's become a shrink. What do you yeah. mean? Well, Just people the, pouring out pouring their out emotions their that they should maybe go yeah. on a walk with their dog and right, work out. Right, yeah. right. Or let me tell you what happened to me. Really? Do I really want to know? Yeah, yeah. I know. It be, it's it's sad sometimes. You see, like, if someone's going, uh, one of your friends is having, like, a manic moment, and you're like, right. oh, you might want to pull this back a little bit. Right. Yeah, like, yeah. And then, of course, you better not do anything wrong, because somebody's got a phone, and, 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 and it's on video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, how is it like for you out there? Just are people coming up to you? You boring as self- shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're getting recognized all the time and have been. Well, for no, so I mean, many first of all, they, you know, if it's a guy, right? Uh-huh. They, can you can, can you say, uh, Stan, you are not the father. Yeah. Mari Povich, yeah. write it yeah. down yeah. here. Oh, that kind God. of stuff. Yeah, and there are a lot of selfies. I, I don't mind it. Yeah, no, I, I've always, you know, I've I, over the years, I've known personalities who just don't do that, don't sign autographs, don't take pictures, and I'm saying, hey, man. I mean, you spend a lot of time trying to get people to look at you, get into your life, and then you just, you know, shove them away and don't have anything to do with it. So, and and I, I take, look, I'm on, I'm on television five days a week, an hour or two hours a day. If they know you, that's the best of the alternative. What happens if they don't know you? That means that you're screwing up and you ain't making it work. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. The fact that you're being rec- yeah, well yeah, because you're you doing just take, a good job. You just taking a few seconds of your life to sign a, that. They're fan for life. It doesn't matter what you do. Or selfies. They're always going to be like, I'm Team Mori. Oh, I love no. selfies. They're quick. You don't yeah, give the phone to someone else. You don't have to look at it again. Yeah. Boom, you're done. Done. Yeah, that's a that's a good. Isn't that something that maybe uh, you found since you've been famous for decades? Yeah. Isn't that kind of fun? <laughs> selfies have changed. Maybe the getting recognized made it more expedited. Yeah. That. There used to be the Polaroid it's, for you. I, I think it's it's fun. Yeah, I mean it is. I mean it's the new Polaroid. I mean, yeah. remember the old days? Totally yeah. Stay right here, Morris. We'll see picture. how it looks. Yeah. 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 yeah.